elaborate a little. For instance, a school today in 2018 is looking ahead. You know, there is a child in class one, is looking ahead to the next 12 years, the next 16 years of studies. What is it in terms of a reality map that they should look at? Well, nobody knows how the job market will actually look like in 30 years, which is an unprecedented situation in history. It, we were never before in a situation when parents and children, uh, sorry, parents and, and teachers, it look forward such a short time and they say, we just don't know what you kids will need to do will, in order to, to have a job and, 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 and be fruitful members of society. So the, our best bet is to focus on emotional intelligence and on mental resilience. Because the one thing we know for sure that people will need is the ability to keep learning and keep changing themselves throughout their lives. I mean, the old model was that you, life is divided into two parts. In the first part of life, you mainly learn, and in the second part of life, you mainly work and make use of what you learned. But this is becoming obsolete. And we need to, the most important thing we need to teach young people is how to keep learning and keep changing throughout their lives. Now, governments will probably have to step in and help people during the difficult transition period to pay for them for unemployment and for the retraining courses. But even this will not deal with the biggest problem of all, which is likely to be psychological. Even if you have the necessary financial support to reinvent yourself at 50 and at 60 and at 70, the big question is whether you will have the mental resilience. Change is always very stressful. And reinventing yourself many times during your life, at 40, at 50, at 60, and so forth, might just be too difficult mentally for many people. And because of the rise in life expectancy, the age of retirement might simultaneously be pushed up to 70 or 80 or even 90. So even if new jobs will emerge, by 2050, we might nevertheless see the creation of this massive new class, the useless class. And whereas in the 20th century, people had to struggle against exploitation, this was the big conflict, people fighting against being exploited. In the 21st century, the biggest struggle of many people might be against irrelevance. You are not being exploited. You are just irrelevant. For more recipes, conversation, DIYs for kids, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from kidstoppress.com.